Welcome YouTube, Bobby G here. Uh, this will be uh, fish room update number two, but more specifically, uh, cutting your own lids. Uh, Do-it-yourself lids for the aquarium. So let me show you the uh, product that I use and uh, how I go about cutting it. Um, so let's talk. So here's the product that I use. Uh, I didn't get this idea on my own. I got it from my buddy Rob. Robo's World is his uh, YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description so you can uh, find it. He's got tons of videos, lots of great information. Uh, carrying on anyways, it's this sunlight product. It's, uh, it's made for greenhouses and I call it a, a multi-wall polycarbonate sheet and if you want to look the product up there's their website www.palram.com um, it's also got a bunch of uh, you know instructions there that really don't pertain to us we're not going to be standing on this obviously and uh, I'll just show you maybe the an end view of it. So it's it's a double wall ribbed. So it gives it lots of strength. And uh, as an example, uh, this is the lithobate tank. I've cut these lids out, and I'm certain that my cats could stand on this. And one of them is 20 pounds. I'm absolutely certain. So we cut these lids. Uh, and drill a hole in them. I think that's a two inch hole that I drilled uh, as a feeding hole. Then I got a just a water bottle, the uh, top cut off of a water bottle, uh, basically a siphon, or, or sorry, a, <clears throat> a funnel. And it just makes it easier to drop the food straight in there. So, and you, like it's super easy, um, you just cut out sections where you need to run your electrical cords, air lines, and where you need to fit your filters in. So you can see I've been, uh, you know, I've been busy cutting these. I've got some for the for the 15 gallon or 16 gallon here. I just cut one for this 30 gallon, uh, one for the 40 gallon here. Uh, there's two over there on the uh, 75 gallon and right now I'm going to cut one for this 45 gallon and I just I just wanted to uh, you know take the time to show you how I cut it um, I've tried uh, a few different ways uh, you know I first thought well I'll just cut it with a skill saw that'll be that'll be good but no a skill saw is uh, much too aggressive uh, then I tried a, a jigsaw uh, that's not bad. It's hard to cut a straight line with it, and uh, I want it to come up with a way that that we don't need uh, power tools. So all I've got here, you can see, is a Olaf knife and a straight edge, uh, my tape measure, and a black marker. Oh, and a roll of tape. So of course, first I'm going to uh, take the dimensions uh, that I need to cut the lid. Uh, I'll cut it about an eighth of an inch shy of the inside dimension here. Uh, the inside dimension is 11 and a half, so I'm going to cut it 11 and 3 eighths. So 11 and 3 eighths. That measures 34 and 5 eighths, so I'll cut it 34 and a half. Always best for me to write things down because I won't remember. Uh, you can see that uh, out of this sheet, I've already cut 
uh, two lids, the one for the uh, 30 gallon and the one for the 40 gallon. Um, so, you know, I'll explain to you how many lids I've gotten out of a, a sheet. This is my second sheet. All right, we'll get my uh, magic marker. I'll measure out 34 and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, 34 and a half. And we'll mark 34 and a half here. And then 11 and 3 eighths. Mark that here. You know, and with your, uh, you know, your parallel cuts, you always have to be one side or the other of the rib. So, I mean, you might have to adjust your measurement by uh, an eighth of an inch at worst. So again, at this, at this end, we're at 11 and 3 eighths. And from there, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, uh, just for protection, I'm going to throw away uh, a piece of cardboard underneath it so I don't cut my table. And oh, that's interesting. A fish box. Hmm. It looks like uh, I bought some fish. I'll show you them in a later video. It just happens to be uh, a perfect size for this table. <clears throat> the sheets are a little bit harder to work with when they're when they're full length. They're eight feet, but uh, uh, it's not a problem. Okay, so we're going to line this up, real simple, and um, in the past what I've done is, you know, I just hold this with my fingers and slice through. It's a little bit dangerous because, uh, you know, if you come up over the, the ruler, obviously you're going to be missing a good chunk of your thumb because you are applying a fair bit of pressure. So this time uh, to help me out there. I'm going to place some tape just across it that way and I'll do the same at this end. I'll actually do it further out uh, like here and you'll see that holds that holds that ruler really uh, really well at least until we get past the point of where that tape is. Um, and then the other thing you, you might want to do is grab a glove to protect, where's my thumb, to protect your little thumb there, okay? Now I am going to stop at this point because that's how, how wide the, the lid needs to be and uh, to give you an idea of the pressure that I use. I don't have to cut right through it, and I'll show you. I just essentially have to score it with a deep score line. Right there, okay? So I wasn't applying a whole lot of pressure. Uh, don't get carried away with the pressure because you'll see, you'll see how this works out. Uh, that tape really worked a lot better than before when I was just holding it with my uh, hand. And for the time it takes to throw a little bit of tape on there, I would highly recommend it. Uh, 
particularly for a longer cut like this, it's really hard to, to keep that ruler nice and straight. And if you're a perfectionist like me, well, uh, this is going to make, make this job really nice. this one again. It's actually easier if you can just pull your knife quickly. Uh, it's a little, little hard to just get that right uh, pressure on it, but uh, there you go. It's uh, nicely cut. Through the uh, through the back side here doesn't really have to be perfect, but if you're a perfectionist, I suppose it does. So I will try to make it perfect. That end. Love, so uh, I don't like it. I, I like to be able to feel the ruler. Uh, so if I cut my finger off, I'll edit that part out. Ha. All right. So we'll remember that we only need to start from. Uh, let's see here. Where's my cut line underneath there? Right there. So I only need to start from this point. like that. again. And uh, we'll start at this end. We'll just kind of split it there. There might have been some spots that didn't cut right through, so uh, that one's easy. This side is easy also. Uh, all you have to do, and, and I had some that I haven't really, you know, cut through that top surface all the way, but if you just uh, hold that and bend it, it snaps off. 
and this way you get perfectly straight edges. Where's the camera? There we go. Perfectly straight edges uh, and uh, a really nice job. So let's have a look and see how well it fits. It's perfect. Okay, a little bit of play is good. Um, I will drill a hole. Uh, you can drill it wherever you want, obviously. Um, you know, in the front, I suppose. Your light can sit back further. And uh, it's just that simple. All right, so uh, for those of you that don't know, this is what a hole saw looks like. Uh, you can buy different size uh, saws and you need a mandrel for it too. Um, sorry, that mandrel just pulls pins out of the saw and then you can, you can unscrew the saw uh, right off of it and put a different size saw on it. Okay, so I screw it back on. Now you gotta line up those pins. And they go down, and I don't know if you can see down in there. Okay, and then uh, that mandrel requires a half inch chuck on the drill. Um, uh, but, you know, in, in the time you know, of going to get the drill, I've actually thought of another idea. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you uh, the drill method in just a, a piece that I don't think I'm gonna end up having a use for, it's pretty small. So we're gonna make sure I don't put a hole through my table, that would upset me. easy. So you end up with the disc and a hole. Now, the, the couple reasons why I came up with a, a different idea is uh, on my 75 gallon the Oscars were fighting one day and the one uh, jumped up, hit the lid, and I'm pretty sure I hit the bottom side, which I should have cleaned off because it's it's pretty ragged, it's sharp. Uh, he's fine now, but I think it hurt. Uh, and the other reason for the new idea is, as I said in the beginning, let's try to do this without power tools. Uh, many people don't have a hole saw, I don't have a half inch drill. Um, and also it's, it's just much neater. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cut out a rectangle or a square. Obviously you can cut wherever you want. Uh, but I'm thinking that if I cut a square, super easy, right? Um, we can cut a two by two square uh, on center, 17 and a quarter. So if it's two inches, that'd be 16 and a quarter. Two, uh, sorry, 18 and a quarter. That's tough math. And then uh, two inches back. It's going to be a little less than two inches, so I want to stay. I want to leave the rib on on the remaining piece. So uh, just find anything that's uh, that's square. Maybe you have a proper square. I have one, but I don't know where it is, and I don't really care. All right. So I'm going to mark mark both sides here, and we'll mark the back. might be a little bit more difficult because we won't be able to snap that piece. Uh, so I mean it would be easier to just take a notch out of the corner. 
obviously doesn't really matter where you feed your fish from but uh, I'm going to stick with the uh, with the center here although this time we're going to have to cut through uh, and cut through that rib at least halfway I don't know if I need my ruler but let's not find out that I wished I had that should do it it's important if you're uh, cutting it twice like that the ruler doesn't move obviously So far I don't have to edit out any missing fingers or... Anyways, that just snapped out of there. And I actually think that's a, you know, a neater, it's a nicer looking hole. Um, so I, I think I'm going to uh, use this method in the future. So uh, this obviously gives us a, a nice hole. And lid uh, we can see that my funnel still fits in it so I can still make use of a of a funnel a cheapy handmade one uh, so the last thing to do on this stuff is it does come with a protective film You know, also, if you cut it with a power tool, skill saw or a jigsaw, uh, you end up with uh, cut fibers down in between the, the lens, which, I mean, from the end you can, you can blow it out, but uh, this is completely clean. So sometimes it's a little hard to, uh, you know, to peel back that first corner. film on this side actually explains that this should be the outside um, uh, for UV purposes I, I think so that it doesn't block the UV I'm not positive you have to do your own research on that uh, I'm certain for our aquariums it doesn't matter we, we may uh, prefer to block the UV uh, unless you're growing plants uh, or doing corals pretty clear. Now of course you've seen the uh, the light on the uh, lithobate tank and you've seen the light on the Oscar tank but let's just show you uh, on these little uh, grow out tanks uh, I don't really have a proper light it's just one I had laying around a little fluorescent turn that on it like the, the the lids really let the light shine through and so there it's really a, an awesome choice uh, 
a sheet of this is not cheap. It uh, it's seventy five dollars uh, from Home Depot. I'm in Canada, so that's uh, Canadian. Uh, so far, uh, out of the first sheet, I got the two uh, seventy five uh, halves. So so one seventy five gallon. Uh, the 255 halves, uh, so a, a 155 gallon, and uh, these two uh, 16 gallon tanks. Um, I have some pieces left over, but they're not very big. Uh, they might be suitable for a 10 gallon, but I'm not sure. I haven't checked them yet. And from the second sheet, uh, as I think I described earlier, I've got the 30-gallon uh, lid, the 40-gallon uh, lid, a 45-gallon lid, and let's see what. Sorry, let's see what's remaining on the sheet. So now we've got quite a bit there to work with. I'm sure I'll get, you know, another uh, uh, three tanks out of that. Probably uh, the other 40 gallon, and I've got a couple 16 gallons that still need a lid, so I'll definitely get that out of those, and I'll still have some left over. So I, I think for the for the money, it seems expensive at first, but um, you know, considering the quality of this product and and how much light it lets through. I think it's an excellent choice. So thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. And as always, make your today fantastic.